Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. Good morning guys, how you doing? Uncle Craig here with my life on the chai farm and I am uh, back at it with my mirror box as noted with this entire mess that I have going you know I, I tend to build stuff and then take it apart and rebuild it and that's kind of what I did here I tried to sort it out if you watched my previous mirror videos the mirror is bigger than you know or smaller than what I had going and all that in the box window and, uh, and I figure well, I'd overlap it into the shelves and blah 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 but just not work so I actually had to I, I took that drop that beam out and moved it over so the shelves are gonna be smaller I'm gonna have to cut those shelves but the mirror fits in here now and I got these brackets to hold the mirror I put some two-sided tape just for cushion a little bit but one of the things I did in the beginning that was kind of a mistake because this stuff's real thin right so I put these crossbars and I had this I don't know where it is now but anyway I had one here you probably see the, the mark and I I didn't pay attention to it being straight and stuff and that's become a problem now because the mirror comes out to about here and then I want a shelf on. I'm gonna put a shelf on top of it but then the shelf fits this stupid thing so I took this one off. I, I was uh, fortunately I was able to find a little bit more, and I'm gonna put that more towards the top, so I can have the shelf. But you gotta do that. You gotta do that. Go do that. Yeah. And I still wanna get over there and build that wall in my shop house. But damn, man, I've been at this for hours, hours, cuts, recuts, and I'm all trying to do it off the edge of my concrete there <laughs> oh what what I would give for this beautifully laid out shop with plenty of space and all the vices and went tools and places where you should be doing stuff but you know about the time that I sort that out and I, I get my workshop into that position or acquire tools and all that stuff I won't want to do anything anymore I'll be done doing everything and I'll be old what is today 28 yeah 28 my birthday's on the 9th man 66 I think you're not old at 65 much but when you hit 66 you're, you're getting old man anyway let me get back at it See if I can't get this thing done. All right, back at you. Um, nine tenths of the way there. I just gotta go get some, mix some uh, more stain and uh, varnish to varnish up the new pieces I put. 
like here and then in here. Made that into a shelf. And then, uh, you know, maybe a once over on some of that stuff where I might have sanded it or this or that. But yeah, man. <laughs> looking, looking good. Boxes are smaller than I probably wanted, but I think they're all right. They're not, they're not, they're not too small right there. And that'll work. Well, I get these tools together, stack them on that table back there, and get to work on the wall. Yeah, that's it. Back at you. So now that's all open. I got a. I was gonna go buy a metal bar, you know, but I still have some of these, which are normally for the, you know, for like a beam. But I think if I cut them, if I cut it, squeeze it in there, I can put it in here. And then that first row of bricks I'll turn up upside down with the cement in there and I'll cement them down there like that so that the first row is uh, surely secure to this I will look for another piece of metal but or like you know metal bar I could cut this up and use it which is kind of that's kind of the thing I'm doing. And if you uh, remember from my previous video, I was talking about the my my mirror box, right? And the fact that I want I don't want to put thick wood, and I'd look for something else. Well, I just realized after I took that door off, and this is the door. This is just another old piece from the bench, I think on the first knockdown house. You know, it's like 15 years old. But anyway, these pieces of wood right here are actually about the kind of thickness that I want. Not too thin, not too thick, and probably just definitely enough where I can cut it. Use it for the back of that window there, that mirror box. Perfect. I can probably leave the door frame intact. If you're familiar with all these tied frames, they're they're you know they're cut like that, right? So it's a this piece of wood has a sleeve on it like that, and it's just inserted all the way through, and then it's and then it's wood nailed through that to hold that in place. So each corner has one wood nail holding this tongue in place. Don't need no nails. But anyway, uh, yeah, when I set this down, I go, oh, wait a minute. And uh, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna use that wood. See, so, yeah, I don't even have to buy no wood. I got wood right there. But right now, I need to, I'm gonna clear this out a little bit. This actually moves, so I'll be able to move that out of the way. I am concerned about this. I have to rewire, reposition the wires. And get rid of that stuff hanging there. And then, uh, this is actually from, they look like grills from a, 
you know, from an old tractor or whatever, but those are actually from the shaved ice makers, the hand crank ones. But anyway, where was it? Clear this out, prep that metal, get it in there, mix in some cement, and we'll get it going. It might not be as straight as it should be. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's all right it is. Yeah, man. But, so the, the last part is up top. The question I had for myself was whether I should just form this up and pour top beam in it. I did drill the hole, put the rod in there, come out here, hold this top layer. The bottom layer is held with the rods in each of the blocks. I top filled these blocks when I turned them over as well. So they're, it's pretty solid, there's a lot of cement in there. I mixed uh, two Two and a half batches, so two, two buckets of sand and one bucket of cement. I did that twice and then I did a bucket of sand and a half a bucket of cement. It's gonna it's gonna shore up pretty good. It's not perfect, but you know, I think it's gonna work real good because it'll enable me to kind of close that top. I, I might be able to just close that with a piece of wood. 
but I'll have this solid surface and maybe I'll be able to move this out over here or something and have this whole area where I can paint stuff or shelf stuff instead of putting stuff down there. But anyway, ideas, man, ideas. It is a mess though, because I didn't take out everything. I let it clear. I let it, a bunch of, there's still cement in here. Look at a banana. All them bananas I had in yesterday's video, they're all ripe now. And they're sweet too. So, I gotta take my band brakes. I didn't get to the wood. I dropped my banana. Ooh, oh, that's right, speaking of drop. Did you see that, man? I was filling the, the I was filling the bricks with cement, right? So it could catch the rod coming up. And there was a big old lizard in there. Wasn't a gecko, it was one of those like brown skinks or whatever. They can jump right out at me, scared crap at me. I was a snake before. When I first come in here, when we were, it was just a table with a pile of crap in there. I came in there, I lifted up something, huge rat snake come flying off the table right at me, scared the hell at me. I didn't know what it was. But, I couldn't see that good either because I took my glasses off because those aren't my working glasses. I want to fill them with cement even though they're screwed anyway. One more thing. But uh, yeah man, I got it done. Happy with that. And uh, just got to do a little bit, a little bit of shoring up, fill in some cracks in the old wall maybe. I gotta make sure I got my electrical in there. Before the electrical went over the opening, and I kinda almost measured it like that, but now I kinda got it going around. Anyway. Well, I am finished for today. I figure I did the mirror box. There might be one or two minor things I need to do to it, but <clears throat> it's finished really those minor things I can take care of those maybe when I after I mount it but uh, in the wall she's done as you can see but I cleaned up all that everything that I took a shower then I, uh, I put on my new jam journey shirt can you see it thanks to Jim and Mayo Miller you gotta check out their channel jam journey Couple of knuckleheads out there beating the wind, you know. <laughs> Traveling woolberries. I think they're getting ready to leave next month or September or something. Continue their jamming journey in America. You know, back when I was young, you know, you used to think, I'm gonna get a Winnebago. <laughs> that was the thing, right? Do they even make Winnebago? Yeah, they do. I think this is it. But anyway. Yeah, it was Winnebago you wanted to take and go just endlessly travel the United States or whatever, live in it. Now, of course, you got million dollar, two million dollar coach motorhomes you can drive, buses. But you can still drive a van. And, uh, and he's watching me again. Can you see that yellow bird right there? Straight, right dead center. Yellow with a black head. That's your yellow common weaver in Thailand and every time I come out here I do stuff he comes and he sits in that tree and watches me well here is the finished product my bone that's what I got I put the little mini shelves there and uh, the cleaning up part is like down in here I can see the reflection actually of that um, the uh, two-sided tape I use for cushion. The mirror is catching it so it's reflecting it. And the little shelf in the top. Pretty good man. And the doors actually stay kind of open hinged. I think they do that right now because there's 
varnish on it, but I'm gonna try to get shot, man. Whoa. Yeah. Is that shot or no? Anyway, yeah. Got it finished. Although I do have to close it up and I will, you know, before it rains, bring it in here. And my wall, boom, look at how clean that is right there. Nice wall. I cleaned all that up. Cleaned up my mess. You know, it's funny because earlier today when I was out here breaking that wood apart to use for the door, or to use the door for the, you know, mirror box, my wife's out here, she's all, what are you doing? What are you making or whatever? I gotta do this, I gotta take it off there. And she's like shaking her head. I go, why are you all shaking your head at my projects? She's like, well, mostly because it's me that has to pick up all these stuff. It's like, like she pick up the after me. To, I said, oh yeah, come in here. Can you do me a favor? You pick up after me right here. I need all this shit put away when I do <laughs> nah. But it's all done, I know that. For my knees, oh my God. On that the mirror, this wasn't so bad, but the mirror, because it had so many cuts and I'm adjusting, going, I'm squatting and standing, squatting and standing. So, you know, my, I'm doing like knee, deep knee bends, hundreds of them. Killing it. Oh. But it's a little small sense of accomplishment, you know, and, and that's. That's probably why I do it. I think there's a need for a need. I think a basic human need is to feel, you know, accomplished for yourself, not show people really, but you know that you achieved. You know, whether it's something small, like taking a shower. <laughs> something big like building a house or whatever you continue to seek out the achievement anyway before I start power babbling uh, I'd just like to say hope you enjoyed that and if it looks like crap just let me know it's all right and uh, thanks for watching you keep watching this channel and I'll get back at you with more stuff here on the Tide Box.